Good afternoon, everyone. And um, it's been such a packed morning and um, well done if you're still with us. So my name is Dawn Hallibone. I'm the Chief Strategy Officer at Two Simple Software, but I also taught for 24 years, including Deputy Head, Acting Head, um, and I'm a school governor at secondary school. Um, so it's lovely to be with you this afternoon. Um, first of all, if we're going to look to the future, I think we need to look at the past. Um, and I love the quote that if you want to know the future, you have to look at the past. And in the UK, especially, we've had some great reports. So it started with BECTA, um, with the impact of digital technology. We had our home access report with Jim Knight. Um, and I was lucky enough to be involved in ETAG report, which we were tasked at what education would look like in 2025. And you can kind of see from the screen that we actually looked at what it would look like in 2020. Um, and if we have a look at that now, and we're in 2021, how much of this has actually happened? Rose mentioned the report, the teaser report that's coming out next week. And I think this quote um, speaks volumes from Lord Jim Knight that, you know, we've had all of this before. We've had the exam crisis. We've had schemes to end the digital device divide. But um, we've got no attempt to learn from history. Instead, we've just had mountains of guidance. And Rose alluded to that as well with the quote from the senior leader that, you know, that there was lots of guidance, but it was the time to go through it all. So I think we need a clarity of purpose around um, education, education technology. We need to put the trust back in the teachers and really think about how do we measure what we value in education. Technology is a tool, and lots of people have said that already today, but it, it has two roles. It can either be that accelerant and give us the level playing field, but it also has the role that it can be negative or discriminatory. And I think in the UK, especially during COVID, it, it's worked in both ways. And it hasn't necessarily been a level playing field for all our students. There really has been that digital divide. And it is just a tool. So does one size fit all with technology? Um, in the UK, particularly this year, there have been kind of, you know, Oak National Academy, or you know, you can go to Google or Microsoft. And is it about the platforms and the product? Should we be looking at one size fits all? Um, Mark, way back at the beginning of this session this morning, mentioned the book by Priya, and she had a quote in a session that I saw a couple of um, weeks ago where teaching is as personalized as learning is. And I think we really need to be thinking about what schools need and whether that one size really does fit all. And at the moment, I believe we have the opportunity to make a real difference and a real change um, with ed tech and in education. And very often I would uh, ask myself, well, what would Bob say? And um, for those of you that don't know Bob Harrison, um, he came up with this quote, which is also from the um, report that Rose mentioned, that learning can't be remote, but it can take place online. And like the best classroom teaching, it's the result of many things. It's a skillfully designed combination of co-constructed content, context, creativity, collaboration, and communication. But all in that community that everybody has spoken about today about relationships and people, that it's supported by caring, capable, confident, and compassionate teachers. So to the future, um, and I'm just gonna focus on kind of two areas. Um, and the first being schools. And everything that kind of has been already spoken about this morning about the need for a strategy and the need for a coherent policy not kind of bits and pieces mismatched to make up jigsaw pieces that don't really fit um, schools need support with that they need support with their leadership and their vision but it has to come down with learner-led relationships and that resilience that um, Laura just spoke about in the talk but it also then has to be built on a foundation of um, CPD and training you know teachers and parents have done a remarkable job this year but very often it's been kind of learning on the fly and we need to really embed that CPD within our schools um, and also looking forward to teacher training. Um, my daughter's actually just started a BA in primary education and she's kind of halfway through her first year with no mention of technology yet and the remote education blended learning technology is here to stay. So we need to have a look at how we support our future teachers as well as the teachers already within the classroom. Um, and I think that all of those strands that are on the screen can really build in to what can play out for the future of EdTech at UK. But there's also this big digital divide, um, obviously not just within UK, and we've heard that from across the world this morning. 
and it needs some solid investment. Um, it needs to look at infrastructure. And it really does need to look at access um, and equality and equity of access. And, and until all of that is done, I, I don't really think we can talk about the future of ed tech. Um, now, I know that um, we were running massively over time and, and you've all been here for, for a long time. So I really just wanted to kind of condense that um, into it. So those are my thoughts. Um, I'm at Dawn Hallibone on Twitter. It would be great to connect. The report I mentioned at the beginning, the ETAG report, is still there for people to see. Um, so that is my thoughts. And it has been lovely to um, talk to you very, very briefly um, this morning. And Max, actually, that's a great thing about assessment. That was the kind of my last screen was about AI and assessment and the need to look at assessment from both the primary sector and the secondary. But I kind of wanted to cut down my talk this morning to kind of just do a brief five to six minutes um, to kind of sum up this morning and what my thoughts were. So thank you very much. Thank you.